Okay, so now for our second version of the logo, we need to create a new page by hitting on the plus sign over here. Now let's type the letter A in lowercase and change the font to Adobe Jeromon Pro Bold and change the font size to 450 and the horizontal alignment to centered. Now let's draw a perfect circle with our ellipse tool selected. Hold down control and drag to give us a perfect circle. If we take off our hands from the control key button, you realize you're going to have more of an oval shape. But then hold down control to get a perfect circle. Now hold down shift as the circle is selected and click on A, the letter A. Now go to Object, Align and Distribute, Align Centers Horizontally. Go back to Object, Align and Distribute, Align Centers Vertically so that they are both aligned from all angles. Now the A is looking too big for our circle, so let's select our A and change the size to about 400. I think this looks good for our lesson. Now we need to bring the A to the foreground. So let's select our A, right click, give it an order to front of page. We want to cut the A out of the circle. So we can either select the A, hold down shift and click on the circle to select both, or we can simply drag around all of them and it will be selected. Let's position this on our, around the center of our page and then we can zoom in for a better view. Good, so now that both are selected, we go to the property bars and select back minus front because the A is in front and the circle is at the back. We want to cut out the A which is at the front from the circle which is at the back. So now we select back minus front and this is the beautiful result we get. Having one object like this. But because we're going to apply two different colors to this object, we don't need it to be one object, but we need to break it apart. So we go to object and have break curve apart and control K is the, uh, the shortcut of it. So you can either do control K or you come to object break curve apart. Now that it's broken apart, when you select, you realize you're going to have all parts differently. Uh, we need to undo so that we don't misplace our uh, objects. So now that we have the parts broken, we need to, but we will have to combine this part of the object against the bottom one. So we select this one, hold down shift, and select the bottom one also. And then we're going to weld it together so that we get one object. So now we can have the two as one object. 